Hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Christine. I like to read dark and disturbing things. I also like to get a lot of book box subscriptions. Uh, if you've been watching my channel for any time, you probably already know that. Today I have a new to me book box uh, subscription called Aardvark Book Club. So let's check it out. <laughs> I love book box subscriptions is it helps me diversify myself as a reader. I know that I do a lot of uh, horror books um, and darker books, but I like to, to be exposed to new things. So that's why I really like these uh, book box subscriptions. They're a lot of fun. Um, this one is called the Aardvark Book Club and it is new to me, but I think it's also a newer book box in general. It is, I'm gonna compare it a lot to Book of the Month um, because that is one that I am familiar with and I think probably most people are um, where you're actually choosing your book. So to justify my purchase, I did skip my Book of the Month for April and decided to give this a try. And it's kind of funny because I signed up like a couple of days before April started. So I actually have two boxes here. I have my March box and my April box. Just a quick little rundown. Um, these boxes in the US, that's where I am, are $17.99. I believe they're $25.99 in Canada, um, but please double check their website. Um, but definitely in the US, they're $17.99. Shipping is free. And you can add on another book for $9.99. So that's fun. So what I did was I picked a book for March. I'm gonna, let's open that up and then we'll check out, the, I'll talk about um, why my April box is a little bit bigger and we'll see what's inside. Okay, so I really like the funky box here and we open it up and I see a cute little bookmark. I like their logo, the little aardvark. You can see through. That's cute. Looks like we also have a card and I think maybe this is showing the, I don't know if these were all the picks from that month. Oh, the scavenger hunt challenge. We challenge you to find a book that fits each category. No repeats, build a stack and then tag us at Aardvark Book Club before March 31st. Three lucky entries will earn a free credit for the following month. That's fun. That's a fun, uh, different thing I haven't seen before. And this is the book that I picked for the month of March. Um, I have not heard anybody talk about this. I don't know anything about it. The cover is what caught my eye because it's so weird. But when I read the synopsis, I was just interested. So, and I of course forgot what it was. So this is a fairly short book at 245 pages. Our author is Joseph Earl Thomas. My little Nice picture of them there. And I'll just read the synopsis. I'll try to be quick about it. Stranded within a family's desperate but volatile attempts to love and demeaned daily for his perceived weakness, Joseph Earl Thomas felt like he was under constant threat. Roaches fell indifferently from ceiling to cereal bowl as if taunting him for complaining about the fact that he was hungry. In this series of exacting and fierce vignettes, Thomas explores how a cycle of hostility permeated his environment while illuminating the vital reprieve into geek culture. From the depths of isolation, Thomas carved out unexpected moments of joy, from broad freedom taken in the long summers to his first hints of community on his road, becoming a Pokemon master. These arresting scenes, Sync, follows Thomas's coming of age toward an understanding of what it means to lose the desire to, the desire to fit in with immediate peers, family, or the world and to feel how good it feels to build community love and work of salvation on your own terms. So um, yeah, this is a memoir of this author and I had just read that it was like kind of growing up in rough times and um, like just really falling into this geek culture that both things that I can um, somewhat relate to in my childhood and yeah, it just sounded like it would probably hit home with me. So I'm interested to give that a shot. Now my April box is a bit bigger because the book that I actually wanted to choose was not a pick of April. Um, it was from a previous month. And as it turns out, it's a little bit different from 
uh, book of the month in that you can't pick a past book as your main pick. Like you can do it as an add-on, but you can't use it as your main pick. And book of the month, I don't know all the details. Like sometimes there's, there'll be certain ones that they let you pick if you don't like any of the selection for that month. But uh, it's, I don't think it's open to just anything um, as your pick of the month. Hope that made sense. Also, uh, at this point, you cannot skip months like you can for book of the month. Um, and so for me, April, I think none of the books were really appealing to me, but there was one book that I've been hearing about that I wanted to check out. So I ended up doing that as an add-on and then picking just a random book for April. So I'll stop rambling and open it up. All right, so we got another cute bookmark. And this must have been... Yes, this was the choices for April, and then it has an April picnic challenge. Oh, so it's not always a scavenger hunt. It says, this month we challenge you to take pictures of an aardvark title plus food that is mentioned in the book with the explanation of its relevance in the caption. Once again, three lucky winners will be chosen. So I like how they're doing these fun little challenges. I also kind of like how they put um, all your choices here so you can check them out. Oh, I got, holy crap. I don't know if this was a mistake. Oh, so I ended up with several bookmarks, but one of them lost his ear, one of his ears. So sad. All right. So first I'll show you the book that I had wanted to pick because I kept hearing about it. And it is a big Swiss by Jen. I don't know if that's B Bagan, Began. And oh, I forgot. But it looks like they put on this one, they put the little aardvark symbol here and not on the spine. Oh, I didn't even notice it because it was pretty hidden on the first one. But yeah, so the little aardvark symbol there. This one just sounded messed up. Um, I have heard people talking about it, but I haven't really listened in great detail about what it's about. Um, I like to kind of go in a little blind, but I've been hearing some buzz about this one. So this one says, it is a brilliantly original novel about a sex therapist transcriptionist and her wild affair with one of the patients. That just sounds bonkers and I'm here for it. Greta lives with her friend Sabine in an ancient Dutch farmhouse in Hudson, New York. The house is unrenovated, uninsulated, and full of bees. Greta spends her days transcribing therapy sessions for a sex coach who calls himself Ohm. She becomes infatuated with his newest client, a repressed married woman she affectionately refers to as Big Swiss. Greta is fascinated by Big Swiss's refreshing attitude toward trauma. They both have dark histories, but Big Swiss chooses to remain unattached to her suffering while Greta continues to be tortured by her past. One day, Greta recognizes Big Swiss's voice in town, and they quickly become enmeshed. While Big Swiss is unaware, Greta has eavesdropped on her most intimate exchanges. Greta has never been more herself with anyone. Her attraction to Big Swiss overrides her guilt, and she'll do anything to sustain the relationship. Bold, outlandish, and filled with irresistible characters, Big Swiss is both a love story and a deft examination of infidelity, mental health, sexual stereotypes, and more from amazingly talented singular voice in contemporary fiction. So very different from most things that I read, and it sounds just kind of like a wild ride. So I'm excited to check out what the, what the buzz is all about. And my last book that I got was one of the books, one of the book picks. This is a fun cover. I like how it's like so bold, boldly colored. Do I remember what this is about? Of course not. A disaffected bookseller develops a dangerous obsession with this dark and twisty debut. Roach would rather be listening to the latest episode of her favorite true crime podcast than assisting the boring and predictable customers at her local branch bookstore, Spines, where she's worked her entire adult life. A serious true crime junkie, Roach looks down her nose at pumpkin spice latte drinking casual fans who only became interested in the genre once it got trendy. But when Laura, a pretty and charismatic children's bookseller, arrives at Arrives to help rejuvenate the struggling store branch, Roach recognizes her an unexpected kindred spirit. Despite their common interest in true crime, Laura keeps her distance from Roach, resisting the other woman's overtures of friendship. Undeterred, Roach 
learns everything she can about her new colleague, eventually uncovering Laura's traumatic family history. When Roach realizes she may have come across her very own true crime story, interest swiftly blooms into a dangerous obsession. Um, this kind of reminds me of that, that show that's on, I think it's on Hulu, Only Murders in the Building, I think with Selena Gomez and Martin Short and Steve Martin. Um, I haven't watched the whole thing, but I've watched some episodes. Um, I am not like a true crime junkie at all, um, but I find that whole thing kind of fascinating. Um, people that want to basically investigate things themselves and it takes place in a bookstore. So while I wasn't super pumped to pick one of these stories, this is the one that I picked that sounded the most interesting to me and um, it'll probably be like a light read for me. So again, all of these were very different from the type of books I normally read and I liked that it had different options than book of the month and maybe some more titles can get highlighted and more books just get some more just get some more attention you know um, a lot of times we see the same books over and over and it's fun to just kind of see something new so that was the aardvark book box we'll see how it goes and i'll probably go month to month and pick either aardvark or book of the month i'll probably do some skipping and it sounds like aardvark has some plans to put skipping in the future so that will be great um just because i can't keep up with all the books that i get Thank you for very much for watching, checking out something new with me, and as always, stay spooky.